everybody, I hope that you are well. This evening I am flying to Australia. I am so excited. But you know, just before you go on a really big trip, you kind of have that pre-trip anxiousness because you're like, I don't know if I've done everything. Is there anything that I've forgotten? What if I forget to pack something? What if I forget to do something? And so that's the point where I'm at right now, but it's fine, I'll get through it. And today I'm going to be showing you what exactly I am taking with me and what I'm packing on my trip. So if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, my provisional plan for this trip is that I'm gonna be flying straight to Perth via Jakarta, just like an overnight in Jakarta. And I'm gonna be in Perth for about four weeks living with my sister and then I will most likely be heading to Bali for about two months where I kind of just want to base and settle myself. I'm gonna be doing lots of very beachy things. Um, I want to practice my surfing. I want to go do a bit of scuba diving. Lots and lots and lots of exploring. So that's what I'm packing for about three months in Asia and Australia. So I've laid all of my stuff out onto my bed, which you can kind of see there. Hello. And there's a lot of stuff that I got there and I don't know that it's all definitely gonna fit in. So we're just gonna give it a go. Firstly, I will show you my backpack. I am so excited that I'm actually going to be using a backpack again because I didn't the whole of last year I just used a suitcase but I thought you know what I actually want to go back to doing proper backpacking now. So I bought this new one from Trespass. Now I've always gone with Berghaus backpacks in the past that's always been what I've recommended but I just thought this time you know what I'm just gonna take a risk and go with something new try something else out. Um, this was reduced from £170 down to £50 in Trespass. It's their own brand. It's a 65 litres, which I think is the same as my other one. Oh, I need to take off the label. Ow. So you just clip it open and then inside it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, you know, a big pocket and then we've got a zip up pocket on the bottom, which is where I think I'll put my shoes. And what I always look for in these backpacks is a zip up pocket which has a rain cover which goes over the whole thing and this one does exactly that so I'm super stoked I'll let you know how the backpack goes because obviously even though it was reduced from such a high price it was very cheap oh, and it's also got on the um, kind of hip belt it has a nice little uh, zip so you can just put really accessible things in there I don't know what I will at this point got my luggage tag as well. As well as that, I've got my carry-on backpack now. I've made a whole video of what I always carry in this backpack and I'm not changing anything for this trip. So I will link that video up here if you want to see what is going to be in my uh, in my backpacking day bag. And finally, I wouldn't always do this, but I'm also going to be bringing a small rolly suitcase onto the plane with me as another carry-on, mostly because my roller skates, which I've already packed in here, I am taking these back to Perth because I never wear them in England, but I always wear them in Perth. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna bring them over one time and then they're gonna live there. So I did need a bit of extra room for that. So I will be bringing this as well. And then I can put my overnight Jakarta stuff and maybe just a few extra things in here as well. But that is all of the luggage that I'm taking. So now it's just a case of, I'll show you everything that I'm going to be packing in here and I'll show you how I do it, if it fits, if it doesn't fit, what I am having to sacrifice. So I'm gonna start with the things that I know I'm definitely going to be packing into this rolly suitcase other than my roller skates. Yes, roller skates in the rolly case. So first of all, I have this, probably looks a bit strange to you, but this is my GoPro dome. This is the piece of equipment which I stick my GoPro in and it allows me to take shots above the water and underwater at the same time. I'll show you an example of a shot I've taken with this here. The reason I'm not putting it in my big bag is because it's quite fragile, so I wanna make sure that I'm kind of looking after it at all times and it's always in my hands. So that will go in here. I'm also putting my pajamas in there, which is literally just a big t-shirt because I will be spending the night at Jakarta. I've booked myself into a hotel right next to the airport. I'm going to be bringing a few toiletries with me. Of course, these all have to be 100 mil because this is coming with me on the plane. So I've just got a shower gel for overnight. I've got toothpaste and also a little deodorant. I have a little bit of dry shampoo, my small mini moisturizer, and my eye cream. So when I get to security at the airport, this is what I'm gonna have to bag in the clear plastic bags 
so that they can see them as they're going through security. But also in my toiletries bag, I've got my Propopanol anxiety tablets, which I haven't taken in ages, but that's what I carry. I have a little Nivea lip balm, a couple of hair ties, my toothbrush, and some tweezers. So that's all in this bag here, and this bag is probably a little bit big for all of that, but that's okay, I can just squash it up, make it work. So when I wake up from my night in Jakarta, I've got some clean pants and socks and a clean strappy top for me to put on, so I'm not entirely disgusting, disgusting when I arrive in Perth. This is a super random one, but one that I didn't want to put into my big case because it's temporary, and that is two little outfits for my sister's dog, Bailey. I was in Brighton this weekend, and there was this, like, dog boutique dress shop and they just had all these different outfits for dogs and I couldn't resist and I bought them a couple of outfits so I'm gonna put that in there as well. I'm putting a cap in here and a spare jumper in case I get really cold on the plane. I've just put one little adapter for Indonesia. Annoyingly it's different from the Australia one so I have to take two different types of adapters. So this is one for Indonesia and then I've just got a USB plug as well in case I need that. And then my hairbrush as well I'm putting in that bag and I can fit more in there but that's all I'm gonna leave there for now and then we'll see what fits in my backpack and then maybe I'll stick some more things in there. So I'm gonna start with all the clothes that I plan on taking. They will all be packed into packing cubes which I'll show you but I'll show you the individual items. So play suits I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five. Five play suits. I absolutely am obsessed with play suits in summer weather. One summer dress and one big black stretchy maxi skirt. And as for shorts I just have this one pair of like active running kind of shorts and then I have two pairs of denim shorts so these ones are light coloured and high waisted and these ones are not so high waisted and more of a dark blue. Now for tops this is probably what I'm going to have to downsize on because I've got quite a lot of them uh, but I've got two t-shirts, this pink billabong one which I've had for years and this black one which I just got recently over the Christmas period from Levi's. I'm absolutely obsessed with crop tops and I've got one, two, three, four, five crop tops. But this last one is long sleeve, so it's a bit different. I'll only be wearing this one kind of when it's a lot cooler or in the evenings and whatnot. And then finally, I just have a few strappy tops. So this one's very, very casual. This is more of an evening off the shoulder one. And then I just have a plain black strappy tops because I find myself wearing these all the time. And I'm bringing this kimono, which I love to throw on just, if I'm wearing a really plain outfit, so just like, plain blue shorts with a plain black top, then I might just sling this on over the top just to inject a bit of pizzazz into the outfit. And now to bottoms, so I am bringing one pair of Aladdin pants, I'm going with these ones this time. I have one pair of cropped gym leggings, one pair of full length black gym leggings, and if you're wondering, all of my gym leggings are from Fabletics, and I absolutely love that brand, and the quality is so good, and they're so comfy, and really long lasting. And then I'm just bringing one pair of jeans, so I've gone for this dark grey pair. Now as for underwear, I've packed most of it already. In this one, I've got my pants and my kind of um, low impact, comfy sports bras. I think I've got three of the sports bras and there was nine pairs of pants. And in this one, I think I've got just two higher impact bras and all of my swimwear. So I think I packed about four bikinis and then I've got three rash vests and one wetsuit long sleeve top thing. And I know that sounds really excessive, but I will probably leave some of the rash vests in Australia. But this is a bag that I may have to downsize when putting in the backpack. We'll see how it goes. I'm not too sure which packing cube I'm gonna put these in, but I've got five pairs of socks. I've got this, which is a thin scarf that doubles up as a beach sarong, so really, really useful. And then I've also bought my beach towel, which is not actually a towel. It's just something that I sit on when I'm at the beach and it's this round thing. I can't remember where I got this from. Actually, no, I think I got it from Boohoo or Misguided or ASOS, one of those places. But yeah, it's round and it's pretty and it's super, super thin, so it packs up real small. And as for a towel, I'll be fine when I get to Perth because I can just borrow one of my sister's bath towels, but I am bringing this Trespass trekking towel, which is quite a large one and that'll be really good for when I get to Bali or if I go on any little mini in-between trips. This just fits so easily in the bag and it folds out to be a really big, fast absorbing towel. My makeup bag is going to go in my big backpack. I don't plan on putting any makeup on over the next 48 hours, so I don't need that with me and it's just extra liquids, which is just another annoying thing to go through security. So this is just gonna go in my big backpack. And this, I know it looks excessive and you're gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? A lot of this 
stuff is staying in person. So yeah, toiletries. I've got some face wipes. This sun cream is gonna be for me. And this sun oil is gonna be for my sister. My sister has requested that I bring these two, um, which you can't actually get in Australia, the Imperial Leather Foam Burst. And they're really, really good. So yeah, I'm bringing those over to her. I've got my 100ml squeezy bottles of shampoo and conditioner, um, which I won't be using so much when I get to Perth. But again, this is something for Bali. I've got my cute little razor in here and a spare blade. Can't go anywhere without my face fake tan. So you may have seen me in a previous video. I don't like to tan my face at all. I put 50 on my face because I do not want to get wrinkles. Um, but I do like to have my face tanned. And so, yeah, I'll fake it. I'll fake it with this stuff. It's really good. I've just got a few lipsticks and some nail varnish. I'm actually going to put that in my makeup bag because it's easier. I've got some serum for my hair and two big bottles of shampoo and conditioner, which again, a bit excessive, but my sister was like, can you bring us over some shampoo and conditioner? Like you can't buy that in Australia. So yeah, we'll see about space with these two, but we're gonna try. As well as that, I've got my toothbrush, my electric, whoop, my electric toothbrush sits in here with a couple of heads and the wire for that. And I'm gonna bring my Go Pole. I haven't actually used this Go Pole in years, but when I bought it snowboarding last week, I just realized how good it really was for action shots. And so yes, the Go Pole is back. I have my Lumix GH5 charger and my Canon G7X charger. I'm planning on vlogging my flight on my GoPro, so I won't need to use my big camera. So I'm just gonna put the chargers for my bigger cameras in my big case, because I won't need them. And when I say case, I do mean backpack. I've got some adapters for Australia, of course. Oh yeah, how can I forget this? I'm bringing my mat, and on the topic of waterproofness, I'm bringing this dry bag. Currently it is just all completely wrapped up, but this is really good if you're going on a boat and you don't want to get your things wet or it's going to be a super rainy day and you just want to waterproof all of your things. I found this to come quite in handy and because it packs up so small it doesn't matter. It's my sister's engagement party next week and so I have a pair of nice shoes and likelihood is, is that I'll probably leave these in Perth as well. And we've got my flippy floppies, my Havianas, of course. I'm just bringing one pair this year because I think that's all I need. And I think that's it. Any other clothes and things is what I'm wearing on the plate so I'll show you that very shortly. But now we have to attempt to get all of this into packing cubes and into my backpack. So let's go. bringing my straighteners. Controversial for a backpacking trip, but um, you know, maybe I won't use them. Oh, I don't know, we'll see if they fit. I've just been really obsessed with my straighteners recently and I think I've struggled to let them go. <laughs> okay, let's get everything in order. Okay, here's our mountain of packing cubes. I also put some electricals in this packing cube as well. Cause I love packing cubes. And this one, woo. So now it's just a case of getting it in here, I guess. And I reckon I want to put my this right at the bottom, my toiletries bag. I might regret that, but we'll see. Then we'll put the big one in, of course. Oh, this is not all gonna fit, is it? Oh! <laughs> and then I guess the next biggest one should go in here as well. That would only make sense. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh dear. This is not going too well. Now, next one. Right. So that went in there. But we've still got the bottom section of this bag. You could have the bottom section separate, or the upper part is literally just hang held on by pegs. I think I quite like the idea of it being separate, so I think I'm going to put my Mac in here. Shoes. Oh my god. I did not think about this. I did not prepare. I'm sorry. Trick and tell, you can go in there too. You would think at this point, after like four and a half years of traveling and packing and doing this kind of thing, 
I would have at least learned my lesson or just got a bit better at it, but no, it's always a struggle. Why is that going in there like that? I might release those pegs to get it all down in one. Release, release the pegs. Because mm. I think that will allow for a bit more room. Okay, ah oh, yes. All right, that's given it a bit more flexibility in there. Oh yes, oh a lot more flexibility, okay. All right, so if you get a chest pass bag, release the pegs, because it will give you like a load more room. All right, makeup bag, you can stick it in there, because I don't want to take you on the flight. <laughs> oh. In an ideal world, I don't want to have to take anything out, like I want to be able to get it all in because I know I am leaving stuff in Perth which will free up space in my bag for barley. If I wasn't leaving stuff in Perth, then I'd be like, fair enough, let's take some stuff out because that's no fun just to have to do this every single time, but it's only going to be this one initial time. Get you down there, boy. Get in there. Oh, well you fit too. Oh, what a legend. Oh. Yes! Lovely. That's a top pocket as well. Well maybe I should put my chargers in there. Well that might be a good idea. Let's do that. Well done Christiane. You're smart sometimes. Oh yeah. That just fits in like a dream. The downside to bags like this is that you can't use a padlock to lock them up. But I always just think you should never put any of like your most valuable things in your backpack anyway. They should always be in your carry-on and just always close by to you. I do have a padlock with me though, um, which I haven't actually mentioned in this video. I do have a padlock and I'm going to be using that for when I get to Bali and staying in hostels. Often they don't give you a padlock, they just give you a locker to put your stuff in. So you need your own padlock to lock everything. So that's the backpack and then all we have left now was my go pole and this little bag of electricals. That's the only things I didn't put in there, which is fine. Well, and my straighteners, which I decided earlier. I don't know if I showed you this. I just put my straighteners in here. I was like, oh, they're going in here. So I think, yeah, my electricals, I'll stick that in there, even though I don't need them on my layover. And then my go pole, that doesn't really fit in there. Surely I can fit it in this backpack though, right? I just kind of slot it all the way down. Oh, perfect. It just fits like a glove. And then that is literally it. That along with that and it all fits. I'm really proud of myself. I am sweating. But just goes to show, like obviously you can see I packed a lot and a lot of those toiletries I didn't really need but I'm just bringing them over to my sister. So if you ever think, oh, you can't pack very much in a backpack, Yes, you can. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. You can fit loads in there. I have often been told on my previous packing videos that I overpack. And despite my circumstances, yes, I probably do overpack. But you know what? I pack everything that I want to pack. And for the most part, I use all of it. And so I think it's okay. So I don't think you should shame anyone for overpacking or underpacking or whatever. You pack what you want. Obviously, probably the lighter the bag, the better, because it might make your life a bit easier in some ways, or you just build muscle. Okay, now I'm rambling. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be wearing to the airport, because if you think that I've been missing any essential clothes or shoes, you may see me wearing them right now. So here we are. These are my three bags lined up. So we've got my backpack, my roller suitcase with my rolly skates, <laughs> and um, my carry-on backpack as well with all my electricals. And I I've linked you the video of what exactly what I pack in this one and this is what I'm wearing hello hello I've got my flowery leggings on today I've got my Nike trainers so I'll use these for all hiking and stuff I have a just a like a black crop top on underneath here and then this baggy pink jumper and a denim jacket and a beanie hat and that's it that's what I'm wearing and then this is my new evolution pillow because I lost my old red one. It fell off the back of my um, bag last time I was at the airport, gutting. But anyway, 
Evolution pillow, amazing. This is what will go around my neck on the flight. Also here is just another thin little neck scarf which will come with me on the plane. I'll put it in that suitcase, um, but just in case I get cold on the plane, really, then I can put that around my neck or over my body. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm bringing with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and it might have given you a little bit of inspiration or some ideas if you are going on a backpacking adventure. I know I tend to overpack and I'm sorry, but that is exactly what I bring. That is what is in the backpack of a travel vlogger such as myself. I will be making a travel vlog of my flight from London, Jakarta, Perth, and that will be the next video. Um, so I will see you then. Bye.